How's it going? My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about an anime amoeba synth. Now this synth is actually just uh, pretty quirky, but you can use it to add a little bit of bubbled um, sounds to your track. And I'll explain what that is in a demo example here in a minute. But I also want to preference that sometimes reverb can get kind of tricky when you're messing with drums. Um, if you want me to show you how to uh, use that tip, how to use uh, reverbs with drums, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Just make sure to remind me so that way I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'll give you a demo example of how this should sound. And then after it, we'll be discussing how to create it. So take a listen. Okay, now that's actually a pretty bad example, but hey, it's, it's something, you know? It's something. Anyways, I'm um, going to drag down my sequencer and my mixer. So in this new file of reason, I'm going to right click. You can control click. So every time I say right click, you can control click to create this menu. OK, so I'm going to right click, go to utilities, create a combinator. In this combinator, I'll create a new Go to my instruments, create a new instance of Thor, Polyphonic Synthesizer. I'm just going to open up my show programmer. And as you know, uh, with Thor, or you may or may not know this, but it comes preloaded even with an initialized patch. To do that, you just right click and go reset device. And I'll give you the initialized patch. But for the first oscillator, you have a triangle wave. We're actually going to be setting all three of these to a wavetable synthesizer. And for our first uh, filter, we're actually going to bypass this. So for our wavetable, we're going to take this all the way to PG0 harm 1 through 8. We're going to do that for all three synthesizers. So for the second one, go to wavetable choose PG0 harm 1 through 8. Do it for the third one as well. Wave table. PG harm 1 through 8. PPG. Okay, so for our first oscillator, we're actually going to boost this an octave. We're going to make sure all three oscillators go through the first filter by choosing them to be on, so that way they're red or pink. In this case, um, for our second oscillator, we're going to leave it as is. For our third oscillator, we're going to pitch it up two octaves. So yeah, it should be on octave six. For our position for wavetable one, we want our position to be 30. So that's 30 right there. For our position on our second one, we want it to be 127. And for the position on our third wavetable oscillator, the position needs to be 127. Now, uh, the only thing we need to mess with is our LFO1. We want tempo sync and key sync to be on. We want our rate to be 1 fourth timed. And that's about it. Uh, now to tackle all the sources. For the first three sources, we want to choose LFO1. And then for the second, for the last three sources, we want to choose our mod wheel, which is found in mod, uh, which is found in performance. So mod wheel, scroll down to performance, mod wheel, and our last one, performance, then mod wheel. So for our first LFO source, um, I'm just going to tell you all the amounts first, and then we'll choose the destinations. So for LFO1, we want this amount to be 100, so just raise that all the way to 100. 
Second, uh, I will fill one position. We want it to be 100 as well. For our third oscillate uh, source, I will fill one. We want this to be 44. Just because above 44 can get too high and below 44 will get too noisy. So 44 is a pretty great even point. For our mod wheel, we want this for our first mod wheel, we want our destination amount to be 59. For our second one, we want to choose 59 as well. And for our third one, we want it to be 100. Okay, now for the positions. The destination for LFO1 needs to be oscillator 1 POS, stands for position. For LFO1 second destination amount, we want to choose our position for oscillator 2, POS. For our third LFO1 destination, we want to go to oscillator 3 and choose pitch. For our modulation wheel, for our first uh, source, we want to choose oscillator 1, pitch. For our second uh, destination, we want to go to oscillator 2 and choose FM, frequency modulation. And finally, for our third, we want our modulation 100%, uh, 100 um, to be going to our LFO1 rate. Now, if I play a, a synth, uh, the synth, we should get some similar. have it. I'm actually going to show uh, click on show programmer to minimize this. After this, I'm going to right click on the device and go to studio effects and create an RV7000 advanced reverb. Now I'm going to take my dry wet to 22 and my decay to 21. After this, I'm going to go to my studio effects and create a line 6 bass amp and just turn on the compressor. So that way we squash our signal a bit. After this, I want to go to my creative effects and choose screen 4 distortion. I'm going to choose the damage type to tape, take the damage control to 40, turn up P1 and P2, and that's all we'll do for the distortion. To, now to master this synth, we want to choose, I'm going to right click on my screen 4 distortion unit so that way it auto routes to the next device I create, which will be a uh, M class equalizer. Almost said line 6 bass amp. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Anyways, for our M class equals for our M class equalizer, I'm going to choose low cut past 30 hertz. God bless you. Uh, I'm going to turn on parameter 1, parameter 2. I can also play fuck you too. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Uh Damn it, I just did. Anyways, uh, for parameter 1, we're going to take this all the way to 139 hertz. Choose the gain down all the way to negative 18.3 and the Q to 32. Or all the way up. For parameter 2, I'm going to take this to 3.465 kilohertz. I'm going to choose the gain to be negative 18.3. God bless you. I'm going to choose uh, Q to be 32. For a high shelf, I'm going to make sure it's on. I'm going to take it all the way down to 3 kilohertz. I'm going to choose the gain to be 4 decibels high and choose the Q to be 2. After this, I'm going to create an M-Class Maximizer. Turn on Soft Clip, uh, Release to Auto, take Limiter off, and choose the Soft Clip amount to be 127. All the way up. After this, I'm going to create a Line 6 Bass Amp and turn on the compressor. And congrats, you guys, you have created the Anime Amoeba Synth. So, thanks for joining me, and in the next video, I'll be giving you guys a demonstration of actually a remake of an old video. I remember a long time ago, I showed you guys um, my Anna Blue and Damien Dawn's uh, Skrillex-like remix. It's um, pretty complex, and I showed you guys some other examples of other remixes I've done. 
I still have all the video and all the parts. It's just that the commentation on that was so bad that nobody, practically nobody liked it. And nobody can hear any, any of the examples. So that's going to be for tomorrow or probably later today because my parents are going to go to sleep soon. Anyways, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another amazing video along with the Anna Blue and Damien Dawn scent. So catch you guys tomorrow.